Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome. Welcome to Midday Prayer. How's everyone doing today? So, um, it looked like it was going to rain. <laughs> I was a little nervous, but we're going to begin um, with a scripture reading this morning, uh, or this afternoon, sorry. Uh, the scripture reading will be from Isaiah. Isaiah 58, verses 6 through 8. Is not this the fast that I choose? To loose the bonds of injustice, to undo the thongs of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free, and to break every yoke? Is, not to, is it not to share your bread with the hungry and bring the homeless poor into your house when you see the naked to cover them and not to hide yourself from your own kin? Then your light shall break forth like the dawn and your healing shall spring up quickly. Your vindicator shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help. And the Lord will say, here I am. I'll read it again. And then we'll have a slight conversation. So Isaiah 58, 6 through 8. Is not this the fast that I choose? To loose the bonds of injustice, to undo the thongs of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free, and to break every yoke. And to break every yoke is the question. Is it not to share your bread with the hungry and bring the homeless poor into your house when you see the naked to cover them and not to hide yourself from your own kin? Then your light shall break forth like the dawn and your healing shall spring up quickly. Your vindicator shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help and the Lord will say, here I am. So this part of Isaiah starts with um, with the prophet saying um, to the people, like shout to the Lord, ask God to to save us, to, sh to protect us, um, and oh, actually, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. <laughs> this is God speaking to Isaiah. Mm, forgive me. Anyway. 58 starts with God speaking to Isaiah to shout to the people. Here we go. Do not hold back. Tell them what I am saying to them. And what this is saying here is the first part of questioning is why are you worshiping? Why do you fast? Are you fasting to show off? Are you fasting because it's something ritual? And what does it mean? to fast for my sake. And then when we get to verses six through eight, God answers that question. Is not this the fast that I choose? And the fast that God chooses is one that sets the oppressed tree, is one that feeds the hungry, and one that houses the those with who are houseless and clothes the naked. And God is saying, this is what I call you to do in your fasting. Um, not just to put on sackcloth cloth and to um, put on and to worship in a way that is performative. Now, to be clear, um, that is not uh, in no way. <laughs> Uh, is this saying that the rituals or the spiritual aspects of mourning and fasting and praying are not valid within themselves? I think what God is saying here is that there are ways in which you are not serving me by loving one another and loving your neighbor. And this is what I'm calling you to. Um, so I thought that would be helpful. It is raining. <laughs> All right. What I'm going to do. 
So I'm going to continue this with a song and we're going to pray and then I'm going to be out so that my computer does not get rained on too badly. <laughs> All right. Nature. So today's song is Light Dawns on a Weary World. Um, the text is by Mary Louise Springle and the music is by William Rowan. Um, it is found in our hymnal, um, number 726. And, uh, I'll just, I'm going to read, I'm going to sing the first and the last verse because it's raining. <laughs> okay. Let us begin our prayer with a song. Light dawns on a weary world when eyes begin to see all people's dignity. Light dawns on a weary world. The promised day of justice comes. The trees shall clap their hands. The dry lands gush with springs. The hills and mountains shall break forth with singing. We shall go out in joy and be led forth in peace as all the world in wonder echoes shalom hope blooms in a weary world when creatures once forlorn and wilderness reborn hope blooms in a weary world the promised green of eden comes the trees shall clap their hands the dry lands gush with springs the hills and mountains shall break forth with singing we shall go out in joy and be led forth in peace as all the world in wonder echoes shalom. Oh Lord, our world is weary. There are cries from all spaces and places of justice, for justice, for your peace. Let your light shine in those spaces. Let us see how we are connected, see how we are part of the work and your work in this world, to love one another, to be with one another, walk with one another, to care for one another. We pray for your calming spirit to be among us, for your presence to be made known, for your healing love to surround those in need of that love. Today, we especially lift up Janice Cressman Cash, David, Helen Tyler, Tom Raymond, Kristen, Barbara, Margaret Falkimer, Shelley McLaughlin, Laura Dareth, Terry, Ben Lehman, Howard Fales, Rebecca Neal, Catherine, Jeff, Jack Overton, Glenn Hardesty, Janelle Hargis, Kim Brady, Gail Tabling, Carol Brzezinski, and anyone else that we might be holding in our hearts now, we can name them here. You can type them in the comments.
I'm going to sing verse two as we end today. We have Jim. Thank you, Gail. Love grows in a weary world when hungry hearts find bread and children's dreams are fed. Love grows in a weary world. The promised feast of plenty comes. The trees shall clap their hands. The dry lands gush with springs. The hills and mountains shall break forth with singing. We shall go out in joy and be led forth in peace as all the world in wonder echoes shalom. Look at the sun. <laughs> peace be with all of you. Amen. I forgot to end the prayer. Amen. <laughs> um, Peace be with all of you. Thank you for showing up here every uh, day to pray um, or when you can to pray. This is a special time for all of us to keep praying, not just for um, ourselves, but for the world, for one another. Um, that God's justice will prevail and God's peace will be made known. Um, yeah, so shalom, which means peace to all of you, uh, and have a blessed Wednesday with the sun coming out right after it almost, I thought it was going to pour. <laughs> all right. God be with you. Peace.